Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing my review, demo, swatches, and a word test on the brand new Woosh Dior Forever Liquid Matte Lipsticks. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see all the details about these new liquid lipsticks from Dior, how long they last, if they are drying, and they are mask, and everything else, then just keep on watching. We have some Dior unboxing to do today, my friends. I actually placed an order for the new Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Matte Lipsticks. I ended up picking up two of them. The shades are 450A Forever Paris and 550A Forever Grace. The packaging is the same as per usual. I haven't been too much on a kick for a matte lipstick or liquid matte because I feel that sometimes they are too dry. My favorite ones are Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue from Chanel. You know, I mean, I have been raving about these for forever, but Dior just launched 11 new liquid matte shades. These ones right here, they are right now available on their website, and I think they have already appeared at other retailers. I will be leaving all the details of my makeup and the details of this product on the description box below. They cost $32 each, and they are made in Italy. Weight-wise, they have 6 ml or 0.20 fluid ounces. So say if we compare it to the Chanel one, Chanel has 4.5 ml or 0.15 fluid ounces on one side, but then on the other side, the gloss bar is 3.5 ml or 0.11 fluid ounces, also made in Italy. The difference right here is this one has kind of like a sealant gloss on one side and then the pigment on the other side. So yes, you receive a little bit more with Chanel, but anyhow friends, let's just go into the swatches of these babies right here. I think I'm gonna go first with 558 Forever Grace. I think that's the lightest of the shades. There were a lot of reds on this collection as per usual. I'm not against the reds, I love reds, but what happens is that usually during the holiday season, I tend to buy a lot of red lipsticks and then I'm like, okay, I'm a little bit cooked and then with reds. <laughs> so anyhow, friends, this is it. This is the packaging right here. You have a frosted component really beautiful the logo on the very top and let's open it up and let's see the dog applicator is kind of like a oh it does has a little indentation so it's gonna grab a little bit more product and it's kind of like this teardrop like dog food applicator really nice let's give it a swatch right here oh that has a lot of pigment right off the back there you go This is a beautiful pink shade. I mean, amazing for springtime. The formula feels very, very thin and not drying. They are supposed to give you a 12 hour wear. I know, transfer proof. I mean, the claims are out there. Beautiful shade right here. Let me just give a kiss test. <laughs> There you go. It's a little bit of transfer right there, but I'm pretty sure it's because it hasn't dried. Let me remove these and let's swatch the other shade. Let's try the shade 458 Forever Paris. Just a little bit deeper in tone. Let's give it a swatch right here. Ooh, this is more intense. This is kind of like a rosewood tone. This is a beauty. I love this shade. This is more like afternoon, evening. So feminine, this is a, such a pretty shade, lovely.
Hey friends, it has passed some time since I applied this last lipstick, so it's non-drying. Honestly, it looks kind of like a bullet lipstick, just a little bit more matte, just a tiny bit, but in such comfort. It doesn't emphasize my fine lines. Let me give a kiss right here, and it doesn't really transfer. I mean, like if I see something very, very, there is tiny, tiny amount. Okay, let me just get going with some stuff that I need to do. I need to do some grocery shopping. I'm coming back and then let me give you my final thoughts, first impression of these lipsticks. Okay, friends, I know this looks so weird. I just came through my door and let me just take off this mask. I just want you to see how it looks, the lipstick. There has been a little bit of transfer of my makeup. That's normal. But on the lipstick, nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> so, ah, okay, let me just check. And you know, it's non-drying. I ate a little, it was just a snack. I just ate some pistachios and that was it. And drink some water. And there's just a little bit of fading, but minimal. And the formulation is so lightweight very very lightweight that I mean it's so comfortable on the lips it's just an extraordinary formula for you know being mad being a liquid lipstick it's not drying it's not really emphasizing so much the lines of my lips it's not gathering either again the formulation is so thin and I see as it's wearing off I mean I had it for I would say at least about three hours and a half, something like that, and it's looking so good. So, so good. I will make sure to leave a pinned comment too to let you know how it lasts because I have a full on day of things to do. I have to edit some videos, take care of obviously the kids, the homeschooling, and like there's so much to do right now. So I will let you know how they wear, you know, like I'm pretty sure I will leave it on just, you know, throughout the day and see how it goes. If I get to do a little footage with my phone, I will make sure to insert it. how the lipstick is looking like after 10 hours of wear. As you can see, it's still a little bit there. It has faded. I mean, but in a very natural way. And it's not drying. Yes, my friend. I mean, so far, I really love what I'm seeing. I love that they are not drying. I mean, it's beautiful. And pigmentation, you don't have to pass too many times. Just with one, you know, dip that you do, it would just cover. I... I'm truly, truly impressed. And I think they have so many beautiful shades. I honestly want to get an orangey shade, but you know, springtime calls for these like pinky shades, at least for me. But anyhow, my friends, I think this makes it for this video. I, I hope that you find it helpful and informative. I would love to know, have you picked up any of these liquid lipsticks? Is it in your wish list? Yes, no. Which shade of the 11 new shades are the ones that are calling your attention? I would love to know from you. Also because Dior is coming out with so many, so, so many products. They are having new of everything. It's just like one after the other, one after the other. It seems like every week is a Dior week. Anyhow, my friends, I hope that you, again, enjoy this video. If you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.